All right, looking for a solid start here with the 42T of Tim Shields and the 26 of Donnie Brown. We'll be set to go green here momentarily. Green flag flies from Terry Wallen. Here we go. Grand Nationals are underway. Shields will grab the early race lead in the 12T machine. In the 42T machine down the back straight for the first time. We got one spinning to the infield. Look out. As the rest of the field keeps going, we get the 4R back underway. We'll stay clean and green. Good battle here for second between Nick Newton and Donnie Brown in that 26 machine here at lap number one. Look out. Down the back. Shoot. Oh, we got a car sideways in front of the cars. Scary moment there. As the 4 machine is able to get to the infield and then get back out to the track. We'll keep green. As Tim Shields continues to try to distance himself from the field, we see the four car of Raven Justice still having some problems over here off the turn four area now. Shields way up on the high side here off of corner number four. He'll come around to lead lap number three, nine laps to go. The four are now able to un unable to continue. That is Raven Justice. That'll be a did not finish for that driver to break. Shields now with a nearly full straightaway length advantage on the new pl second place driver of the 711 as Nick Newton, the points leader, has made his way into that second spot. Drifting back to third now, Donnie Brown in the 26. Don Mars currently holds down the four spot in the nine, followed by Dibbon in the 69, and the 15 of Nick Drew. Those drivers still on the track. Four laps down a third of the way through this one. Eight laps remain. Nobody up to challenge Tim Shields as he is comfortably out front up on the high side in that 42T machine. Good run by Shields. Nick Newton unable to reel him in now. Looks like he lost a little bit more time there, but he currently holds down that second spot. Dibbon now getting the thing rolling in the 69 car. Dibbon will take over the four spot from Don Mars. And just as I say that, Mars battles back to the low side. He'll retake the four spot here off of four. One car missing a little bit out there, skipping a little bit. We think that's the number 15 of Nick Drew. We'll keep an eye on that situation as Shields continues to dominate here tonight in the Grand National event. Full straightaway length advantage tonight enjoyed by Tim Shields coming around to complete lap number eight. Two thirds of the way through this one now, four laps remain. Newton holding down that second spot. Donnie Brown, no challenge there in third. Don Mars in that fourth spot. Brad Dibbon now trying to get the 69 going back again. He had a good run earlier on, lost a lot of momentum when he drifted up to the high side here in corners three and four. He is trying to reel in Don Mars at lap number nine with three laps remaining. Just a couple more laps to go for Shields in the 42T. Terry Wantman, our flagman, will reach for the white flag and he'll wave it to the bright orange, number 42T of Tim Shields. One more lap to go for Shields. Shields trying to gain some points on our points leader, Nick Newton, and he will tonight as the driver out of Kansas City, Missouri, brings it off of four in a 42T. Tim Shields, your winner. Coming across the line for second will be the 7-Eleven machine of Nick Newton. Good run for him. Donnie Brown will bring it home in the third spot, followed by Don Mars, Brad Dibbon in the 69, and the 15 of Nick Drew. He's finally coming out of the car. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Tim Shields, your winner in the Grand Nationals. Hey, uh, Bob. Fields back to victory lane here in the Grand Nationals. Picks up a few points. Like I said, he has been running second.
23 points behind Nick Newton. He'll gain a couple points here tonight, trying to close in the gap. Those two drivers having a great championship battle here at Lakeside Speedway for the Grand National title. All the crew down there celebrating this evening with the checker flag and, again, those trophies sponsored by Tim Powell here this evening. Thank you, Tim. One more time, give it up for Tim Shields, your winner in the Grand Nationals. Speedway Stock Car Division waiting to go green. We'll keep an eye on our flagman here. Terry Wantlin as the drivers bring it off a corner. Number four should be any minute. There we go. Stock cars are underway. And it's a virtual drag race down into corner number one with Justin Seifert. Oh, my goodness. Trevor Hunt had that one on two wheels, almost got up on his lid. Good save by Trevor Hunt. There's their three wide for position down the back chute. Coming around to complete lap number one in the 37, it will be Seifert. Good action here off of corner number four is number one machine down on the low side trying to gain a spot. That is Christopher Smith down on the low side. He currently runs in that fourth position. Good battle between him and Kevin McGinnis in the 17. McGinnis coming up through the field now up to fourth. Good run for him. Didn't look as strong in the earlier heat, but tonight coming to life is McGinnis in the main event. Off of corner number four, Seifert will leave another one, but here comes Hunt. The 46 taps the wall a little bit here, coming off of corner number four. David Holcomb, he's able to keep it right. It will stay clean and green here with, what, two laps in the books? Two laps down of our 15, 13 to go. No change up front, still all Justin Seifert and Trevor Hunt. Bobby Tavis comfortably in that third spot. The man on a move here early on has been the 17 of Kevin McGinnis as he battles with the 92 of Blake Peeler for that four spot. Good battle with those drivers as they head side by side into corner number three, battling it out for fourth. Peeler and the 17 of Kevin McGinnis, they've been side by side for most of this one. Those two drivers, neither one wants to give an inch. Both equally come off of corner number two. Now, the 17 will edge him out in the corner. Just as I say that, battling back on the low side in the 292 is Peeler. But McGinnis will get the momentum off of corner four, and he'll put himself comfortably in that four spot. That'll put Peeler back to fifth. Look out here off of four as the five and the one get together. Steve Herrick and Christopher Smith having a little bit of disagreement there off of corner four. We'll stay clean and green, however, as those three drivers battle it out over there. That is for the 8th, 9th, 10th, and positions here this evening. Actually, the, yes, 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th back there with the 34 as well. So laps continuing to get clicked off here with six laps in the book. It's coming around to complete lap number seven this time. Lap seven coming at you. One car with a problem bound on the back straightaway. He'll bring it in. That's the number 12 machine of Scotty Moore. Scotty Moore will be a did not finish in this one. Tough break for Scotty. Here at lap number seven, coming around to complete lap eight. This time, lap number eight, this time there'll be seven laps to go. Trevor Hunt unable to reel in, race long leader. Ciphered in the 37, comfortably out front. That battle for fourth is not done yet as the 17 of McGinnis and the 292 of Blake Peeler are still going at it. Good battle between those drivers. Look out off of four, the 31 a little bit slideways. Nick Zinn, he saves it, will keep going. Nine laps this time around, six to go. Six more laps remain. That time the 93 a little bit sideways as he tries to gain a, gain a spot. Sam Scott in the 93 trying to pick up a spot on Holcomb in the 46 car. That's deep in the field. Meanwhile, up at the front of the field, Trevor Hunt is coming now. He is reeling in your race long leader and he's gonna reel him in a lot. It's time as Seifert slips just a little. Seifert hangs on to it, but Hunt gets the good run down on the low side. He'll glide it up on the high side and Trevor Hunt will take the lead here at lap number 10. So Hunt to the lead at lap number 10. I don't know if there's something to miss on Seifert's car, but Seifert now trying to dive back down the low side to reeling back in. Now Hunt slips a little bit. That'll open the door for Seifert. McGinnis is way up on the top side in that fifth spot. Meanwhile, Peeler now is moving up to battle. Bobby Tavis at third. Good battle between those drivers. Here comes Seifert again bouncing back. A little bit of a uh, pressure rut there off of corner number two, and that launched the 37 of Seifert back out front. They're side by side here at the line, coming for lap number 12. Three more laps to go, and Hunt is out front. Seifert wants it. 
Keep an eye on those drivers. Good battle between Peeler and Tavis. Yellow flag is going to fly, though. Woo! Dang it. Why does it always happen just as we get good? Murphy's Law, I suppose, as the 93 draws a caution here at lap number 11. Off of corner number four, Terry Wantlin waves a green flag. Here we go. Once again, Trevor Hunt with a great start. Seifert, a little bit better start that time. We'll see if he can do anything with Hunt here up on the high side. Peeler's right there ready to strike as well. Good run off of corner number two for Seifert, but good one for your leader. Trevor Hunt as well. Peeler still in the mix. Right back there in third. Coming around just a couple more laps to go this time. Two to go. Holcomb now trying to break into the top five. We'll keep an eye on that battle here as those leaders continue to duke it out up front. No change inside the top three. Best battle on the tracks back there for fifth between the five and the 46. Meanwhile, up front, off of corner number four, Trevor Hunt will take the white flag. One more lap to go for Hunt. Seifert, Peeler, your top three. On back, Tavis in that 0-1, trying to hold back a hard-charging Steve Herrick in the 5K and Holcomb in the 46. The 93 of Sam Scott has come back to life, moving back inside the top 10 here late. Seifert has caught your leader. Watch him as Seifert will try to dive down to the low side. Hunt down low. Watch him off a of corner number four. To the line for the win for the stock cars. Trevor Hunt will pick up the win here tonight. Racing. Thank you, Tim. There he is, Trevor Hunt, your winner tonight in the stock cars with a hard-fought victory against Seifert. Trevor, very happy down there tonight in victory lane. With the rest of the family coming out to celebrate with him here this evening. The team coming out, doing a great job here in the 33. Trevor Hunt, your winner. Yep, tighten those shoelaces, Trevor. You need to be fast with those shoelaces tied there, buddy. <laughs> Everybody with thumbs up in victory lane here tonight. Lisa Burlington shooting our photos down there this evening. Thank you, Lisa. There he is one more time. Trevor Hunt, your stock car winner here this evening. Good drivers here tonight. It could be anybody. All right, let's see how they roll it off here of corner number four. B-Mods are green here tonight at Lakeside Speedway. Here we go. down on the low side we'll get out front here early on they thought about four wide for a moment there wow into corner number one that had to all shake out everybody off of corner number two safely so far keep an eye on these drivers as they make their way into corners three and four lap number one we'll go to luke neiman here at the line everybody that's standing in back corner number three needs to back away from the corners please People watching in court, turn number three need to get away from the fence immediately, please. Luke Neiman is your early race leader here tonight with Tim Powell in that second spot. Brad Smith now up to third. That'll put Clancy back to fourth. Nick Newton hanging on to the top five so far. He's in that fifth position. Ed Noll right there still in the mix in sixth just behind him. Patrick Royalty in the seventh spot followed by Don Mars in eighth. Terry Bivens is ninth here early on tonight. Luke Neiman your leader but here comes Tim Powell. Powell now trying to reel in Neiman here up on the high side. Neiman hits a cushion, gets off of corner number one and two fairly strong but so does Powell. Brad Smith now right there as well in the 99 trying to reel in your race long leaders up front of him. Steve Clancy still comfortably in that fourth spot. Nick Newton in that fifth position here at lap number four. This time around, lap four. Several cars jockeying for position deep in the field here tonight. Good side-by-side -side action off of four. With the 92 and the 08 as those drivers, everybody hook it up for positions. Powell now getting a little bit of racy on the low side here. Luke Neiman will hang on to it. Lap number five this time. Ten laps to go. Lap number five, ten to go. Powell now to the low side of Luke Neiman. Good run for those two drivers off the corner. Good battle between those two. Neiman led lap number five. Powell wants to lead lap number six. The 99 of Smith still waiting in the wings to see what happens. Now Powell drifts up in front of Luke Neiman. Luke Neiman will cross over down to the low side, but Powell will lead lap number six. 
Good battle up front. Brad Smith trying to get in the mix as well. So at lap six, coming around to complete lap number seven, Luke Neiman back down to the low side. He wants to lead back. Now Neiman down on the low side with Powell up front. Problems there for the number seven machine of Heath Murray. The hood has come up on that car. The 57 is Powell is your leader. Luke Neiman in second. Yellow will come out for Steve McDowell over here in turn number two for the 22M of Steve McDowell out of Independence. And now who will lead him around corners three and four and wait the green flag for Terry Wallen. He's got it in the air. Here we go. Good run for Brad Smith right from the start there. Smith dives to the low side of Powell, and Smith could be your new leader this Oh, no. Powell goes around. Several cars get together. Heavy contact here in turn number two. Don Mars. Oh, Tim Powell's car is a mess, you guys. You got to get the emergency cars to him because he is, that car's a mess. Tim Powell also involved in this one over there. Don Mars. Luca hit to you. Huh? Luca hit to you. That all started with the lead group of cars. Seven, eight laps to go for Neiman and Smith. Here we go. Green flag is out. And Smith immediately dives to the low side trying to get a good run on Neiman into corner number one. They resume their battle. But they got company now with Steve Clancy up there. Again, Smith to the low side trying to grab the lead away from Luke Neiman. Good battle between those two drivers up front as they come around to complete another lap here tonight. This time by eight laps down, seven to go. Smith, your new leader. So Brad Smith back out front now here at lap number eight. That'll drop Neiman back to second as he falls into the clutches of Steve Clancy in the 12. Nick Newton right there in the fourth spot trying to get up there to make it a three-car battle for second. Good battles all through the field here now as Patrick Royalty tries to hang on to a top five position. Steve Clancy is to the low side of Luke Neiman into corner number three. Good battle for second spot. The 12 wants it. The 181 wants to keep it. They touch coming off of corner number four. Neiman way up on the high side. Clancy right there. And here comes Nick Newton as he closes in on those drivers. Some debris way up on the high side over there in corner number three. And the yellow flag will fly. Yellow flag will fly for Debris in corner number three. All right, restart here with Brad Smith. Five more laps to go for the 99, 181, 12, 33, and 49 to sort it out. Here comes Curtis Berry. Curtis Berry with a good run here. Berry now fighting for a spot inside the top five. Good side-by-side -side battle there with the 23 and the 33 deep in the field. Patrick Royalty wants that spot back. Oh, the 49 gets into the 23, and then 23 nearly spun miraculously somehow. Saved that one, and the 49 will gain a couple spots there, and that opened the door for the 21C of Chad Clancy. Chad Clancy now down on the low side. He'll move up into the top five. Remember, Clancy started this one back in 20th position. Two of the Clancy boys now inside the top five. Look out, here comes the 21. Brad Smith, your current race leader here at lap number 12. So Brad Smith, Steve Clancy now second, Luke Neiman is third, Nick Newton is fourth, Chad Clancy fifth, Patrick Royalty in that sixth spot, Curtis Berry seventh, Doug Keller is eighth. Good battle among our top eight here tonight. Trying to get up in the mix, currently ninth. Shadron Turner in the 17D and Terry Bivens in the five. All, all that damage, Bivens able to get up there and run inside the top 10 here this evening. Good side-by-side -side battle now shaping up for third as the white flag flies for Brad Smith. One more lap to go for Smith. At the line, Nick Newton will grab the third spot away from Luke Neiman in the 181. Now Neiman under fire from the 21C of Clancy. For the final time off of corner number two, Belton, Missouri driver Brad Smith will keep it in the middle lane. He'll float it up high off of corner number four. And coming to victory tonight here in the B-Mods, Brad Smith in the 99. So good run to the finish there as Belton, Missouri's Brad Smith 
will pick up the victory here this evening. Steve Clancy will bring it home in that second spot, followed by the three by three of Nick Newton. Chad Clancy from 20th to fourth here this evening. He edges out Luke Neiman. Luke finishes in that fifth spot, followed by Patrick Royalty in the 49 machine, the seven of Keller. Good run by those gentlemen back there deep in the field. As they just battled it out all the way to the checker flag to finish this one up here tonight, our 15-lap B-Mod main event slowed four times here this evening. Need to pay this man's grocery bill, but this will help tonight. There he is, Brad Smith in the B-Mods. The Kenny's Tile Machine is hot tonight. Brad Smith picking up a victory here at Lakeside Speedway. Getting a hug probably from one of his four boys. You can imagine that grocery bill. This is going to help a little bit. Mama Smith down there, proud of her husband tonight. Did it? The new powerhouse I'm hearing underneath the hood of the 99 tonight. He definitely powerhouse him here this evening. Brad Smith out of Belton, celebrating with the whole family down in victory, and it looks like. Getting one of those sponsored trophies tonight by Tim Powell. Thank you again, Tim. Hate what happened to you, buddy, but thank you for sponsoring these trophies here this evening. Okay. Terry Wantland will set things up in victory lane here, and Lisa Burlington will snap a photo for us. He's waiting on the D-Mod fan, and he's coming that way. One more time, give it up for him. Belton, Missouri driver, Brad Smith, your winner tonight in the B-Mods. All right, looking for that straight across start with the front row. Lancaster, Missouri's Chris Myers, Richmond, Missouri's Aaron Moran. Here we go. Green is out. Good start there for Jason Bodenhammer as he dives to the low side, but Aaron Moran will get a good run off of corner number two. Good run for Moran in the 1X. Smizer will be your leader here at lap number one, the 25 up front leading the way. Smizer, Moran. Kenny Mudd, Jason Bodenhammer, Bobby Penny inside the top five here early on with Ethan Young, Tommy Cordray, Dustin Hodges, Lane Eller, and Ryan Petersheim running on back through the 10th spot. Cody Holcamp now trying to come forward in the 22H. Problems over here off of corner number four as the 22 gets a little bit out of shape, but he's able to keep going. That's Kevin Coyne. Morant way up on the high side trying to reel in Smizer. Bodenhammer thought about a pass on the 07 but couldn't make it stick. Kenny Mudd will hang on to that third spot. Bodenhammer fourth. Oh, big time crash down the back straightaway. David Melloway, trouble on the back straightaway for the 14X of David Melloway. Lots of front end damage on the 14X. Watch your cars, watch your flagman. Terry Wantland, he waves the green and here we go. Racing resumes once again off of four. Up front, Aaron Morant gets a good run as Kenny Mudd had got a great run down on the low side. Mudd snagged away that second spot there momentarily, but Morant snagged it right back here off of corner number four. Good side-by-side -side battle now between Ethan Young and Bobby Penny. That battle for position number five between the 16 and the 23. Dustin Hodges now trying to get up through the field as well. Hodges wants to get up there inside the top five. He is up there in your... Points positions up inside the top three. Wants to have a good one here tonight. So far, Smizer well in control of this one. Best battle on the speedway might be here in a couple laps on that second spot of Morant and Mudd. Bodenhammer unable to reel those drivers in just yet. Bobby Penny sets comfortably in the fifth spot. Ethan Young now right there in six. We'll try to get up there and battle Penny. Dustin Hodges still coming to the front with Tommy Cordray, Lane Ellert, and Ryan Petersheim just behind them. Still running inside the top ten. Just outside the top ten was Scott Phillips, Kevin Coyne, Gary Billings Jr., and the 23 of Cody Holcamp. Problems on the 23C of Holcamp. We'll keep an eye on him to see if he's able to stay out there or if he'll have to retire to the pits here later on. Spizer now will bring it here off of corner number four. He will put the 23C of Holcamp a lap down. Whole camp with problems on the 23C. He has his hand out the window. Out. 
The 23 of Holkamp slow down on the inside. Might be a little bit too slow to carry on here. As Smizer's able to get around, now Morant and Mud will able to be get around the 23. Not right now, though. Don't do it now. Okay, all right. I'm not sure what he's doing. I don't know if he doesn't know where to pull in or what the deal is. Smizer now up to put a lap on the 22 of Kevin Coyne here at lap number 10. Five more laps to go. Lap number 10 here for your leader, Chris Smizer, puts a lap, tries to put a lap on the 22 of Coyne. Coyne down on the low side, Smizer up high. Aaron Morant now trying to reel him in. Kenny Mudd still back there in the third spot. Bodenhammer hanging on to fourth here. Best battle on the speedway between Bobby Penny in the fifth spot and the 23 of Ethan Young up there battling out for fifth and sixth. Dustin Hodges is still seventh. Ryan Petersheim is eighth. Lane Ellert ninth. Scott Phillips running inside the top ten. Just a handful of laps to go here at lap number 12. Now three more laps to go. Three to go for Smizer. Can he pick up his second consecutive win here for the weekend in the 25S? Morant doing everything he can to try to find a line to reel him in. Just can't quite make it happen. Oh, oh, we got a yellow flag situation here with Ethan Young in the 23 machine. Mud and Bodenhammer, here we go. Good start there for Lancaster, Missouri driver. Chris Smizer, now Bodenhammer tries to take that second spot. Kenny Mudd will try to fight back down on the low side. Good battle between those two drivers here in the waning laps. The white flag will fly this time around for Chris Smizer. Bobby Penny now trying to get up inside the top three. Couldn't make that run work. It may cost him a position as Dustin Hodges gets a good run in the 22H. Final time down the back straightaway. He's already into corner number three while the rest of the cars come off of corner number two up on the high side out of Lancaster, Missouri. Your winner is going to be Chris Miser to the line for second. Bodenhammer followed by Kenny Mudd in the 07, the 22. Woo, close one there at the line between the five and the 16. We'll get that from the official scores here momentarily. All right, so Chris Smizer getting the job done here tonight. Bodenhammer with a great restart will finish in that second spot, followed by the 07 of Kenny Mudd and the 22H of Dustin Hodges, then the 16 of Bobby Penny just edging out. Tommy Cordray for the fifth and sixth positions. Brian Petersheim back there in seventh. Lane Ellert is eighth. Scott Phillips ninth. Good run by those gentlemen out there as Smize gets it done. Good round of applause. There he comes. He can hear you, fans. Lancaster, Missouri's Chris Smizer, your winner tonight in the ULMA Late Models. A happy man. He got a win last night at Lucas. He gets the win done here tonight at Lakeside. He likes the tracks that start with L tonight. There's Sonny Smizer, legendary driver Sonny, coming out to meet his son out here in Victory Lane. Get on in there, Sonny. There you go. Lisa will wait for you. The Smize, Chris Smizer, your winner tonight for the ULMA Triple Crown Shootout. Nice done. Nicely done, man. Well, the Wiley veterans leading the way here off the front row. Green flag skyward. Here we go. Oh, my. Look out down the front straightaway. Several cars get together. Red flag will wave in the air. Red flag will wave in the air here at the start. Scary moment down the front straightaway off of corner number four. Great to see these guys still at it. Again, Chad Lyle says this is his 33rd and final year of racing. That's why he's running the 33. We'll see if he sticks to his guns or not. Right now, sticking to our guns. Here we go, green with the USRA Modifieds. It's a virtual drag race up front. The two leaders nearly get together. Kerry Davis down on the low side. Chad Lyle to his outside. Lyle with a good run off of corner number two. will assume command here early on. But here comes the 68. He floats it back up in front, and Lyle will dive back down low. Great exchange up front with Davis and Lyle. 
These two drivers going at it tonight, both of them won it really bad, and you can tell as Lance Town tries to get it up on the action. Now Kerry Davis up on the high side will get a good run. Chad Lyle will drop down to the low side. Watch him again off quarter number four. They're side by side off of four with Davis with the advantage here early on tonight. Two laps in the books, that time by 18 laps to go. Nick Benninger, Aaron Morant, just behind the top three. Good battle between those two drivers, between the 3B and the 70. They're side by side for fourth behind the top three. Lance Towns still way down the low side in third. He'll try to reel in Chad Lyle into that second spot. Lance Town low, Chad Lyle will move it up high. They're side by side off of two with Lyle now with the advantage. Yellow will come out, one car spin, spins over here in between turns three and four. Looks like All right, Delaware double file restart style. Kerry Davis out front of the second and third place cars. Davis is now trying to get on the gas. He does, but Lance Town is right there. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Everybody diving down to the low side to see if they can reel in the 68. Here comes Nick Binninger on the high side. Good run for Binninger. Good run for Jared Steen's way in the back as well as he picks up three spots, two spots, excuse me, off of corner number two. Nick Binninger. Binninger now up to second. Good run for him. Uh-oh, Morant has a problem again. That's a tough night for the man out of Richmond, Missouri, as he retired from the late model. Event. Now it looks like he's going to be unable to continue in the modified here tonight as his car stalled on the top of the turns. Going yellow for the stalled car of Aaron Moran over there in turn number two. We're looking for the green flag to finish up our USRA modifieds. We have it in the air, and here we go. Binninger tried a new line there on the restart. He was able to really mend, but Lance Town now gets a good run. Town, a rocket ship off of corner number two, will vault into that second spot here on the restart. Way up high, he could give up the second spot as Binninger wanted it, but couldn't get it back. Lance Town now going for the win here on the 68. Good restart for Town in the 21T. Close battles here throughout the top five for first and second and for fourth and fifth between Carrick and Hoover. Up front, it's a three-man battle. Here comes Lance Town. Seven laps complete, coming around to complete lap number eight. There'll be 12 laps to go this time by. Bittinger now falls back into the clutches of the second place. Oh, but the yellow flag will fly. Yellow is out. Here we go, restart, green flag waving once again here at lap number seven for our restart, 13 to go. Good restart that time for Kerry Davis as he puts some distance between himself, Nick Benninger, and Lance Town who vaults back into that second spot. Now Jared Steen's to the low side of Tim Carrick. Steen's trying to rebound from that earlier deal there with the debris. He's back inside the top five here at lap number eight. Lance now, Lance Town comfortably in that second spot has sole possession of that. No pursuers as the top three begin to spread out just a little bit. Dylan Hoover, Jared Steens, and Tim Carrick running close quarters there for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Two drivers way up high. Carrick down low. Dylan Hoover will hang on to four. Steens is fifth. Carrick sixth. Cowboy Smith seventh. Bubba Harvey eighth. Liston and Travis Ruff still out there completing ninth and tenth. Nobody able to reel in Kerry Davis here as we get closer and closer to the halfway point. This time around, 10 laps down, 10 to go. The 68 of Davis leads the 21, and just as I say that, Davis slips just a little bit, but so did Town. Town had an opportunity to close in on there. He let it slip away as both of those drivers have trouble there maneuvering quarter number two. Again, Davis is way up high. Town's right there. Jared Steens was up in the wall. That could cost him a spot as him and Tim Carrick are side by side. Here comes Lance Town again on the low side. He just can't exit off a two. He may have the faster car between he and Davis if he can figure out how to get off corner number two. The top four now breaking away from that battle for fifth between Steens and Carrick. Town again to the low side. Can he make his stick this time? No. Kerry Davis 
again battles back and will resume his lead here coming around to complete lap number 13 getting a good rhythm going now here with seven laps to go for Kerry Davis Lance Town it's a two-car breakaway up front. Lance Town again to the low side. Willie drifted up in front of the 68. He does this time. The 68 will cross over down the low side. Kerry Davis wants to lead back into turn number three. He may have it. Davis will float up on the high side off of corner number four. Lance Town again down low at side by side at the line. Too close to call, but I believe I believe the 68 led that lap. Now some lap cars coming into play down the back straightaway here off of corner number two. The 68 and the 21 slideways off of the exit. Off of two, they both get through there. Travis Ruff, the next to go a lap down. Once again off of four, this time by it'll be the 68 of Davis. Once again, your leader. Laps clicking off now at a very quick place there. Lap number 15. Lance Town will have to try to reel back in the 68. Can he make another charge here? He briefly took the lead, but the 68 repelled any challenges from the 21 T of Town. Now Town way up on the high side trying to get a run into 68. Dylan Hoover now has made his way into third. Dylan Hoover third. Nick Bittiger back to fourth. Jared Steens is fifth. Tim Carrick a distant sixth back there. Bob Hobart and Jeff Smith seventh and eighth. Again, Town trying to reel him in. Coming around to complete lap number 17. Town settling back down with final three laps to get it done. Can he get it done here in three laps? He's right there. Once again, approaching the 68 of Kerry Davis. Gets a good run on the high side off of corner number two and closes in ever so slightly on the 68 of Davis. Coming around this time to complete lap number 18. Just two more laps to go here for these two drivers. Duking it out for the USRA modified win tonight. Lance Town is right there. Town again dives to the low side. He'll float it up in front of the 68 just like he did a couple laps ago. The 68 will come back on the low side. Watch him in here in corner number three. Will the 68 go out in front on the low side? Town is up high. The 68 wants the real estate. Town has it at the white flag. One to go. Lance Town out of Wellsville takes the lead with the white flag lap. The final lap. In play now with Lance Town with a good run off of corner number two. Davis slips back just a little bit. Into quarter number three for the final time. Here comes Davis for one more charge of steam, but it's not going to be enough as Wellsville, Kansas driver, Lance Town will take the win. Davis in the second spot. Good run for Dylan Hoover there in third. Nick Benninger will bring it home in fourth, followed by Jared Steens in the fifth position. Good run by those drivers inside the top five. Here he comes, Lance Town with his first win at Lakeside this year. The Kansan gets it done in the 21T. <laughs> Lance a little out of breath down there, but glad to be in victory lane. Handshakes from the crew down there, as well as our officials. Terry Wantland will get things in place. started the race. Victory Lane there, celebration for Kansan Lance Town. Lisa Burlington snapping some photos here tonight to wrap up our racing portion of the program here this evening. Once again, fans, Lance Town, your USRA modified winner here tonight at Lakeside Speedway. Great job.